potentially oh. three sixty thousand years old. So they're super old and yeah, they thought they were initially Neanderthal because of this age, but then they discovered a few more and they were they classified them as Homo sapien. And so this discovery pushed back the age of our species by another third, like a hundred thousand years. So I saw that and I was thinking, like, how are we still basing our kind of idea of history around the fact that nothing happened for you know, 310,000 years, and then everything happened in like the last, you know, 10,000 years. The term prehistory is weird, isn't it? And we, we're, we're, that's one of the things that disturbs me the most is the arrogance that some academics have to having a definitive understanding of the exact timeline of agriculture, civilization, and then modern humans. It's not like there's a group of people that all collectively decide, but some particularly vocal mainstream kind of historians and scientists seem to claim to know absolute truth about the past. And that's just stupid. Like, how can anyone know about what happened 100,000 years ago or 200,000 years ago? And it kind of gets, gets me a, a little bit riled up because at the end of the day, none of us know what happened back then. So I think a lot more possibilities are, you know, possible than, than what many people appreciate.